Hello and thanks for joining us here on Stumpissimo. Well, the sun is shining all around the Stumping Up office today and we've had a great week on the weather front. It's certainly got me thinking about fun things to do this summer, such as alfresco dining with my girlfriends, family barbecues, and perhaps a getaway down by the coast. And I know that I'll be busy snapping photos to capture fun moments. So I'm especially excited about today's Stumpissimo as we'll be sharing a new product line in our Stamping Up offering. It's called Project Life by Stamping Up. Project Life is a great way to record memories in a fun, simple way and is great for anyone who loves to take lots of photos. So let me start by introducing one of our lovely Stamping Up demonstrators who will be telling us more about Project Life and showing us how simple and fun it is to use. So welcome Becky, how are you? I'm well, thank you. It's great you. to have you here. Uh, now, Becky, you've brought along some projects to share with us today. So perhaps we can start with you telling us about what you love about Project Life. Project Life is really versatile. That's the thing I love about it. Um, and it's also so quick and easy. Um, okay. This is uh, the pack that you get with the cards. Um, it is rather empty now because I've used quite a lot. <laughs> been I've been playing, it. yes. Um, but the cards are beautifully printed and they're all colour coordinated with our stamping up range, of course. So absolutely gorgeous. I love that happy. Yeah, that's, that's lovely. Um, so here you also got the accessory set, which is matching. And each of our card sets has got a, a matching accessory set as well. Um, you get all sorts of lovely stickers and alphabets um, and little embellishments, little stickers, little wood chipboard. Yeah pieces there. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Um, and some of my favourites are actually these speciality cards that you get in there, which have got these little cut-out, I don't know if you can see that there, the cut-out letters yeah. and words, which are great for doing something a little bit different and playing around. Uh, and then my absolute favourite piece of all from the accessory kit is the unique washi tape which Fantastic. I know what you take, you can use it for so many things. So tell me, uh, Becky, have you always done scrapbooking? No, um, actually I'm mainly a card maker and I also do like 3D projects. Um, I've always dabbled in scrapbooking and done mini albums and done the odd large page, but I never had the time right. to settle down and actually do a full traditional 12 by 12 scrapbook. Just not enough time. Um, so when I got this, I was so excited um, because it's meant I can get like the last three years of photos <laughs> down in, in oh, a... Don't in we? A, we have so, so many. We take so many photos. We so do. it's fantastic that we have this great solution to, um, to help organise your photos. So let me show you what I've been doing okay. with the kit. This is... Um, an album that I've started to put together. It's by right. no means the finished product. Okay. Um, but I've been using the Everyday Adventure uh, set, which I love because it's great for pretty much every occasion. Um, Wonderful. So this is my front cover. There would obviously be in an album, yeah. but I haven't got that with me here today. Um, and the way I like on my front cover, actually, I like to do one of these sheets, these larger ones, which right. has got almost like bullet points, and I use that as a content. So oh, I know fantastic. what events I've done through the year. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, and then 2014, obviously. So we've got a bit of stamping, some photos. Um, and this particular page went to Harry Potter world. Oh, <laughs> are you a Harry Potter fan Just then? a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my birthday treat. So. Oh, wonderful. Um, and it's great. You can do as much or as little writing as you want to with these techniques. You can fill every pocket with a photo or you can just put in um, one or two cards and just yeah. put the date or who was there. Um, or you can really go to town with it and yeah. embellish all the cards and have yeah. full stories about what happened through the day. Yeah. So um, It's wonderful. And it just looks so colourful. It does. I, I mean, the fact that I've not finished it, I'd still be quite happy to put this <laughs> on my coffee table and show people um, what's been going on. So you're going to show us a, a project, aren't you, yeah. from scratch? So I've got a project here from um, an event we had in my local community. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put it together completely from scratch. Now, it can be a bit intimidating if you've not done something like this before. The first thing I was going to actually tell you about was how I organise my photos. Yeah. Because um, if you have them backed up on your computer and you go to whichever print shop you use and get sort of 300 prints and you're like, oh, what do yeah. I do now? It can just be a bit overwhelming. So I usually um, pop them, sit down just for 10, 20 minutes and sort them by event and put them in these little cellophane bags. That's a great idea. So Jen, I know yeah. I can work on one topic at a time. Yeah, that's a really good tip. So that's the way I start. And then you end up with uh, a selection of photos. Um, 
So if I do those first. Okay. Um, and the Project Life pages, these are the, the pocket wallets that you yeah. get. Um, there's loads of different designs. There. Well, we do two packs. We do um, one pack, which is all the same, yeah. and we've also got the variety pack of the 12 by 12 side. Right. This is the variety pack, okay. and there's six different designs, I believe, in it. So there's lots, plenty for everyone. So I just like to play around and we're not, not putting yeah. them in the pockets, but just kind of think, oh, where would I yeah, like to sort put that? Sort them. of mix them around, yeah. say, swap them. So there's two main card sizes, is that yep, right? Yep, um, there three? are three, three sizes. Okay. The main one is six by four, which is right. your standard photo print. Uh -huh. um, and then you've also, and the smaller one is um, four by three inches, right? Okay. Uh, which is the little card size. And they're, yeah. all, they're all cut for you. Um, and we just pop them in, have a look. I've got my little key down here. <laughs> and see where we might like to put them. That it's almost there. a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. Um, and obviously you can see here, I've cut down one of my photos because I had a, a thing in that corner there that I didn't right. really like. So I've just cut it down. So if it wanted smaller gaps. Yeah. Um, These are really lovely colour designs, gorgeous, aren't they? And because really nice. we yeah. have all the coordinating card and ribbons and everything yeah. as well, um, it makes it so simple yes. to make your projects look really professional. So tell me, how did you hear about Stampin' Up? Uh, I actually read about it in a magazine. Right, um, okay. Quite a few years ago, I read a magazine. There was, uh, we were talking about convention. Right. Um, so I decided to go and find out more about this company. Um, and then I was made redundant. Right. So I thought, well, I'm going to go stir crazy at home doing <laughs> nothing. I couldn't find any other work. And I thought, right, I'm going to do this for myself. Right, okay. Um, so I took the bull by the horns and I went and I interviewed three demonstrators in my local area. Um, I met them, talked to them and decided who was the best fit for me because I wanted to do it as a business. So what's next? The next stage is to round off all the corners. Okay. I like to do it to all of them, but it is personal preference. Okay. The reason I like to round them is because if you don't, um, if you're pulling the photos or pages in and out of the pockets quite often, the ears might get, the, the little corners might get a little bit dog-eared. Right. Okay. And that just protects them. Okay. Um, it can take a little while to do this, but it means it's great to do in front of the TV or yeah. uh, while you're doing something else. Or okay. I like to listen to music while it's doing. That's it. That's a great idea. And you literally pop in the corner there, and the punch has some little guides, raised uh, little raised edges to guide okay. the corners in. And you just pop it in, and punch. Um, and then the punch also has a little lock on the back, so if you're taking it out. Um, it also stops any little fingers getting caught in, in that mechanism. Right. There. Tell me a little bit about the photos. So, um, Who are all these people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a community day. Right. Um, uh, we, um, one of the local roads near us uh, put the, hosted it for us. Um, and it's to celebrate our local village's 900th birthday. Oh, wow. Um, so there's events going on all through the year uh, and we decided to have a big barbecue because we had one for the Jubilee and we were just yeah. looking for a reason to host another one. So now we've got our Brexit layout, I'm going to start embellishing the cards a little bit. So if we move these out of the way, okay. do that very carefully. slide those up there. And I'm going to show you um, some stamping, okay. which is obviously what we're famous for. <laughs> um, and there are uh, some kits, uh, some stamp sets that come with Project Life um, in the range. Right. Um, these ones, I love them. Uh, and they're made using our new photopolymer stamps uh, okay. material, um, which has loads of advantages. Mainly, it's really quick because you don't have to position it really accurately because you can see through exactly Fantastic. where you're going. I just peel them apart and I can see a data remembers on there and I'm going to peel off the one I want. And it just comes off really easily. Okay. And pop it onto a clear block. There we go. And choose my ink. Okay. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. Okay. I love this colour. It's one of my absolute favourites. There we go. And tap, tap, tap. And I always like to do a test stamp just okay. to make sure that I've got it straight. There we go. And I'm just literally going to line it up by eye and stamp. There we go. Great. Simple as that. Um, and then this card I'm going to do in a different colour, but using the same stamp set. Right. And I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. And which one do we like for this one? I think about Life is Good. Do we like that? Yeah, I think so. 
Life is good. It is, absolutely. And especially when the sun is shining. It's or when you're getting together with friends and doing fun stuff. Exactly. Make the most of it. There we go. Pop that on there. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to pop that straight on there. And I'm not going to worry about the lines or anything else. I think Great. it just looks quite fun. Okay. In the accessory kits, you also get um, stickers. So I think it might be quite fun to add a couple of these to that project. Excuse Loads me. to choose from. Yeah. I like the little hearts, and I think I'm going to do a little row okay. of those. Um, just to jazz this up, because it's a yeah. little bit plain. I do like to throw everything at a project <laughs> sometimes, but it just pops on like that. There we go, just a little row with them. They don't have to be particularly straight. They can, you can do what you like with them. Um, that one's not going to show up quite so well, so maybe I'll put that one down there. Straighten it up, there we go. Okay. We'll stick that arrow on here. There we go. I'm just going to add as well, just a little note, I've got a marker pen here and I'm going to use the, the pen end rather right. than the brush end. And put something, because the, the photo it's going with is this one here. <laughs> so it's pointing to that one, so life is he good. He certainly looks happy. Indeed, so, so I'm going to put it's all about the beer. <laughs> There I'm we go. That. And then those cards are done. I'm just going to pop them back. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to show you on some other cards now, All some right. other little embellishments. So this one, it's actually got days of the week written and printed on there. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to highlight the fact that it was on a Sunday that we had this event. Um, and these are the little uh, acetate embellishments. You right. can do all sorts okay. with those. They're really they versatile. Fun. And they just pop out. They're already die cut for you. And all I'm going to do is take a little bit of my snail adhesive, because it's okay. clear. Right. And pop some of the snail on each end there. And highlight. Where are we? Let's find a Sunday on there. Mm -hmm. uh, there we okay. go. Sunday. Done. That's that one. Last but uh, not least. We've got these gorgeous little, I think they're epoxy, is that right? Oh, that's wonderful. Um, and they've got such a shine on them. Yeah. And I'm literally going to peel that off and stick that right in the middle there. There we go. That one's done. So if I pull that back down, you get an right. idea. Oh, there we go. So again, can kind of get an eye, sort of see how do I want any more. Right. Um, and I think there's a little bit of a blank space here. Right. So... I'm going to grab this little <laughs> speech <laughs> bubble, I think. Okay. So we really have a talking cute. cat. We have a talking cat, um, and we'll pop that there. And because these um, aren't going to damage your photos at all, because there's no acid in them or anything like that, they're all completely safe. Okay. Um, and again, I'm going to take my marker pen. This is strawberry slush. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put purr or something yeah. in there, I think. Perfect. That looks great. There we go. So, we're yep. going to pop them in. We are. We're good to go. There we go. So they just slide in. So, tell me some of the benefits of being a Stamping Up demonstrator. I have made so many new friends through Stamping Up, um, and I've had the chance to travel as well. Uh, convention is the highlight of my year. It probably <laughs> should be my wedding anniversary, but it's not. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. Um, yeah, convention. Uh, I think this year we're in Brussels. Yes, fantastic. We're very excited. I know. And it's so good to meet up with so many like-minded people. Um, and I've made friends who I've been in touch with for years now, completely just through meeting them at the first convention. So you have now this big Stamping Up family. I do, I do. <laughs> And the other thing as well, being a Stamping Up demonstrator, you get discount. <laughs> I love our discount because it means you can just have all your favourites. So that's it. It's as simple as that. It takes minutes to put together and, and away you go. Yeah, have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so let's fast forward, shall we, and have a look at both the pages together. Well, I think they look fabulous. They look so great and a lovely way to, to really record a, a memory of a great day.
So Becky, you have bought some other projects to show us, haven't you? Uh -huh. So should we take a look at those? Yep. I've made a mini album okay. of the same event because sometimes you don't want to take a big 12 by 12 project with you, uh, album with you. Sometimes you want something you can just slip in or pop into your pocket or your handbag. Yeah, that's such um, a great idea. Isn't and maybe it? have, um, if you did a baby one, it could be maybe grandma's brag book that she can <laughs> yeah. have in a handbag to show her yeah, friends. Or, um, so if I undo this, there we go. And then I've got a little pull tab here. Oh, that's there wonderful. we go. Okay, so you've used the small Yeah, pages. I've used the small cards um, and just added a little bit of the stickers and a bit of stamping um, and it really doesn't take very much to, to put fantastic. together. Fantastic. So what else do you have? Uh, I've got a few other little makes. Okay. Which actually, uh, you can use these cards to do uh, more than just scrapbooking. I hear I've used one to do the background of a greetings card. Lovely. So I think that would be more than acceptable for Absolutely. my husband to receive. I you think know, it's it doesn't lovely. have to be girly, girly. <laughs> so it's wonderful. And, and again, it just really highlights how versatile the pro the product are. Mm -hmm. uh, so there we go. Uh, a little gift box it takes yeah, seconds lovely. to put together, but that would be lovely to put in a, a candle or something for a friend. Yeah, you know, that's lovely. I'm liking that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, we've got. Oh, almost last but not least, we've got this one. Uh, this is my, this is Sally. Oh. Uh, she's a guide dog puppy. Oh. In, well, she's a guide dog in training now. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to really quickly um, put together uh, a mini album. Okay. Uh, just the basics, and then you can go to town on decorating right, okay. yourself. That sounds good. Um, here I've got some of the cards that I've already put together, and I'm going to show you how I've done that. Right. You take some of these little cards and you choose one that you like. So let's go with that one. And then here I've got the washi tape from the accessory kit. Okay. Um, and I just make it a little bit longer. Okay. And then the important bit with linking these together is you want to make sure that you have them on end when you stick them together. Right, okay. That allows a, a little bit of a gap between the them, give, which yeah. it means you can fold them. So if I pop that down there, stick that over, just by about half, lift them up together, and just fold over. It's as simple as that to do the joins. Wonderful. There we go. Then if I open it up, um, and just make sure you do both sides as right, well, just yep. to give it that extra strength. That's fantastic. So that's that. And then to do the outside of the cake, right. the little mini album. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to cut, this is uh, again Bermuda Bay, uh, and I'm going to cut this to seven inches by four and uh, one quarter inches. Okay. So that's four and a quarter that way, and seven. Oh, I'm just going to have to pop the end out. So I'll move that one out of the way because I don't want to cut instead <laughs> okay. of score. And you're then going to score three and one quarter inches in from each end. Okay. So one. Turn it round. There we go. Okay. That's it. So that's your it's spine that's there. The, that's the measurements, yeah. and that's your spine. Um, I'm going to use the corner punch just to nip the edges off again. And that's your basic case. To fix the, um, your card zigzag inside, yeah. you want to score in approximately three eighths of an inch or a centimetre, depending on uh, whether you're a metric or an imperial girl. Okay. There we go. Just line that up. And this time, score build, not scoring blade <laughs> and not your cutting blade. Okay. Just one line like that. Right. Put some glue along the edge. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to fold that and pop that on there. So, 
There we go. And that all folds up in there like that. That's great. Okay. That's, and then that's great. just pop a bit of ribbon around the outside or decorate it however you like. That's wonderful. Now I think you have one last project, don't uh -huh. you, that um, you'd like to share with us? Yep. Yeah, we do. Um, I love MDS, which is our My Digital Studio, um, which is our computer crafting. Um, I was never convinced by computer crafting until I found My Digital Studio, and oh, I love it. Um, and I've used it to create a piece of home decor. Okay. So, so this is Project Life. It is. In My Digital Studio form. It is. So taking something so small, um, but you can then blow it up. Uh, and this is the stamp oh, set wonderful. from Everyday Happenings, the My Digital Studio set. That's great, isn't it? How wonderful is that? Literally, it took me about 15 minutes to make, so... I think that's wonderful. You've done such a great job. And again, it easy to use. Mm -hmm. Well, I just love Becky's projects. What a great way to capture memories in a fun, easy way. And it certainly fits in with our busy lifestyles. So, Becky, thanks so much Thank for sharing you. all your wonderful projects with us. You've certainly inspired me to look over family photos and record them using Project Life. So I can be reminded of special times in my life. So if you're a happy snapper and like me, have lots of photos stored on a variety of devices and want to know more information about Project Life by Stamping Up or more about the Stamping Up product range, or perhaps you're interested in becoming a demonstrator, then I recommend that you contact your local demonstrator. If you don't have one, then you can visit our demonstrator finder on our website or visit our online shop. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.